205-6 is the uh, the belted one on screen now, and um, I, I know Boots really like this one. I, I really like this one's mom, and, and I'm really bummed that we can't have the sow in the sale, uh, and that's a big reason why this daughter's in there. The sow, uh, the sow isn't bred. Um, she was running the fence about 10 days ago when Carl started picturing. She's a 279, which means this sow is a litter mate to crown uh, the kingpin bear that Wyatt Collard showed that we were very proud of several winters ago. Um, you know, the misconception thing, we used him on several key sows, and, and I think we're going to have a, a heck of a set of daughters uh, to work with. I know we've got several of them bred for this upcoming season already. Uh, this one was, uh, was in Texas. I don't know that she was ever shown. She left here to be a show guilt, but I don't know that she was ever the show guilt kind. Um, but dang, she sure looks like the sow kind right now. Uh, 205-6, again, another misconception. Yeah, again, um, talk about all the extras um, that you can want. And I mean, you just, you just start up front. I mean, her skull, her chest, her toes, um, the way everything hits and drives up front is so hard to do whenever they've got that kind of density and that kind of power. Um, and then to be that just secure and comfortable out of their hip and rear leg is incredibly hard and challenging to do consistently. And then obviously, I mean, her, her stoutness isn't really a surprise to us. I mean, everything in her pedigree screams stout. Um, you know, I think this one looks a lot of fun to breed because you've got all, everything you'd ever need in terms of just extras on the bottom side. So clean her up, sharpen her up a little bit with your boar of choice and have fun because this one's going to bring all the extras to the table. Again, 205-6, she's a, uh, a misconception kingpin. She's at a 297 or 279-5, uh, one of my favorites running around here, and she sells as lot 210. 